idle man? Oh, well, the idle man should treat us as if we were goddesses and talk to us as if we were children. He should refuse all our serious requests and gratify every one of our whims. He should always say much more than he means and always mean much more than he says. He should never run down on other pretty women. That would show he had no taste or make one suspect that he had too much. No, he should be nice about them all, but say that somehow they, they don't attract him. Well, if we, answer, if we ask a question, he should give us an answer all about ourselves. And he should invariably praise us for whatever qualities he knows we haven't got and shower upon us everything we don't want. He should persistently compromise us in public and treat us with absolute respect when we are alone. And yet, he should be ready to have a perfectly terrible scene whenever we want one and become Miserable, absolutely miserable at a moment's motive. And when one has seen him for really the last time, and he has refused to take back all the little things one has given one, and refused to promise to communicate with one again, or to write one any foolish letters, he should be perfectly broken hearted and send one little notes every half hour by a private hansom and dine quite alone at the club so that everyone should know how unhappy he was and after a whole dreadful week during which one has gone about everywhere with one's husband just to show how absolutely lonely he was. He may be given a third last party in the evening. And if his conduct has been quite irreproachable, and one has behaved really badly to him, he should be allowed to admit that he has been entirely in the wrong. And when he admits that, it becomes a woman's duty to forgive and one can do it all over again from the start with variations.